Once your update is finished, you will see that one of the new features of macOS Sonoma is the new lock screen. When we take a look at the top of the screen, we see that time and date look more different than before and down at the bottom, we have our username and password input. Before it was in the center of the screen. We also see that we now have a dynamic background. It keeps moving even when you are on the desktop, creating a seamless experience and after we log in, we see that it still continues moving for a while and then later it will stop, which creates a more dynamic experience between the screen and the wallpaper. Another new feature of macOS Sonoma is the new wallpapers. To see that from the Apple icon, go to settings, scroll down a bit and select wallpapers. On this page, we can see that after updating to macOS Sonoma, a lot of new wallpapers added for usage. And if you don't see these wallpapers on your system, then firstly you need to download them by simply by clicking on the wallpaper. And as you see here on this bar, now it starts downloading. Here on the top side, we have dynamic wallpapers. If you use one of these wallpapers here in the dynamic wallpapers section, then you can switch between light and dark mode simply by clicking on this drop down menu here. If you click on this drop down here, you can easily switch between the light and the dark mode or you can leave it as automatic if you prefer. If you scroll down a bit, here you will find other dynamic wallpapers such as the shuffle aerials for example. If you choose one of these one here, it will give you an option to shuffle between wallpapers and here you can select the time range. If you want to change this for example every 12 hours or every day, you can set the time range here and let's say after every 12 hours you will get a new, a different wallpaper. If you choose for example continuously, then you will get continuously different wallpapers. Another option you see here, if you prefer, you can add your own photos from this button here, if you want to use your own photos as wallpapers. And you can also use the same wallpapers as a screensaver. If you turn this one on, then your wallpapers will also be shown as a screensaver. If you want to see some of the best new features of macOS Sonoma, then check out this video next.